The significance of today during this quarantine life is that I'm gonna finally start writing my application. Hello everyone. Um, today is May 13th, Wednesday, and the only significance of today during this quarantine life is that I'm gonna finally start writing my application for general dentistry work through residencies, whether that's GPR or AGD. And I'm going to start losing weight and get more fit because I think clinic life will begin in June. So I figured four weeks is enough time to hopefully stay fit. So here's to suffering and getting things done. Okay. This is when you know things are about to get serious. I'm ready. No, I'm not ready. I'm, I'm very much not ready. Let me explain to you how my desk works. So welcome to the cleaner side of my desk. Don't ask me about the other side. Here I have the Bible, um, the Word of God, Word of wisdom and comfort, all just waiting for me within a hand's reach. I try to read it every day, but that hasn't been the case. Sorry, God. Um, this is my Surface Go that my brother got for me in hopes of motivating me to study harder and better. It did for a semester and then now I'm done with classes, so I don't know what to use this for besides Googling. And this is my journal to write my feelings away when things just don't work out, a common occurrence in my day. Um, and this is my sutra book that I won from a mini lottery during Perry location. It is very useful, uh, has great visuals and graphics and tricks. However, I have yet to use this book because school closed. And this is my empty box of audio interface in hopes of recording cello covers um, for fun. Um, but I'm not sure when that's gonna happen because this is a priority. Let's go. So when I don't know where to start, the first thing I do is go on Student Doctor Network and see what available tips and resources are out there. And I came across this file uh, written by a program director and he recommended something about UCSF Office of Career Development. So I came here and downloaded all the relevant resources for me. And after stalking a lot on this end, I came across a lot of resources as you can see with my arrows. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just start reading these first and then learn what to do, what not to do. I'm gonna miss my CG. Say something. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
up, they're making noises. Umo, 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 umo. Oh, pigeon drama. <laughs> Just trying to attract the bees. So many times, my English makes no sense. So, so we are a good match. We are a good match. <laughs> the fact checking Scorpio and Pisces are two signs that are highly compatible. They connect in powerful ways on oh physical and oh <laughs> oh <laughs> oh oh. oh. Strongly emotionally. Oh, oh, that's true. That's very that true. Sense. Yes, yes. <laughs> Tend to be long term. Oh, since 2016. Yay! <laughs> I don't know why I keep laughing. It's true. It's true. Yes. They can rely on each other in difficult moments. Ah, uh, even now. <laughs> <laughs> Life is difficult. <laughs> They act more like soulmates than like friends, and they tend to accept others just as they are. So it's not unusual for them to get together with strange personalities and individuals that always need their help. <laughs> oh, is that so? Yes. <laughs> this is my strange tutorial with tuna. It's sweet and spicy, and I eat it when I'm stressed. Today, I'm a little stressed. All right. September 25th and 26th. Today is a beautiful day out. I'm gonna pick up some udon and eat more. It's very good. Oh. Ah, this place has soap and it's indoors. I love it. 